Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Hi. Oh, my God, what an incredible day. It's absolutely amazing to be here live with you. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Lisa, and this is Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where we talk about informative things, uh, information, experiences, uh, hypnosis, mind, body, connection, everything. So recognizing that in life, there's three important things. One is your money, one is your health, and the other is your relationships, right? Because when we talk about relationships, um, if we are healthy, we have better relationships, if we have the funds, we are feeling less stress, we are doing good. When one lacks, the other um, feels low in energy. Or if something is lacking here, I'm sure there was something lacking somewhere else. So in life, I like to do things in three, how I help you evoke, embrace, evolve. So when we come to understanding this, realizing that it's the same as mind, body, and emotion. If this is not healthy and you, when we don't have a sound mind and we are not feeling good and if there is physically something wrong, then everything is out of line. So the reason I'm bringing this up is for us to go to a place of relaxing, unwinding. As a matter of fact, if you text RELAX to 818-221-2797, you will receive a gift of um, a 30-minute audio recording from me so that you can relax and unwind in the convenience of your own home. That's right. You can go into hypnosis and experience this beautiful realm of hypnosis. So, the reason I brought all this up is because when you go to a massage therapist, when you go to a coach, when you go to a counselor, when anything that you do that you ask for someone's assistance for someone's help I want you to think of it have you ever been somewhere and it doesn't matter if it is seeking help or not that you walk in there and you feel this dense energy as if oh my god it was so heavy you walk out and you feel lighter or better yet been around people, even friends that you are with. And when you are away, you feel so light and everything. But when you are around them, there is this feeling of heaviness. Why? Because we all, we are all energy. What I feel, if I feel good, I walk in, I exude that energy. If I feel good about myself, guess what? I walk around like, oof, not necessarily because I am cocky. It's just, this is it. I feel good. So have you experienced this? I want, if you have, just share it. Just say yes, just uh, I can't see anything right here. Uh, if you are here, just leave me a note so I can, I can tell that you are here. So we are walking, talking energy. We are physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual beings. So no matter what happens, wherever you go, when you feel down, you have to understand that your energy of who you are is with you. So no matter if you change your environment or something like that, you go with it, right? But when you go somewhere that lifts up your spirit, 
that you come to feel relaxed, that you feel, oh, I am here just to let go and relax and everything. And it's happened to me so many times. I remember for 14 years, not only I did massage, I did deep tissue massage, working with pain, releasing pain and everything. I even trained other massage therapists that they would say, how do you do it? How do you do this kind of a deep massage? And when someone would get up from my table, they would feel so light. They would feel so relieved. Why? Because I poured in all the love, energy, techniques, and the healing into them. But when you go and receive a massage and you walk out and you say, oh my God, I feel so heavy, or you go home, you still feel heavy, it's not only about yourself, but the person who was treating you, treating your body, because at that moment, your body is so open and vulnerable that you also receive every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue is open and receptive to what you receive. And if that person who is touching you, if that person who is touching you, they're thinking about, okay, when can I finish this and get my money and walk out? Or they just had an argument with someone and that feeling that all the thoughts, all the argument is still in them, guess what? While they're doing this, while they're touching and treating you, they are also funneling what they are feeling onto your body. And it's the same thing that when you go to a party and you walk into that party and you feel, mm, I feel I'm not wanted or I feel out of place. And this exact thing happened just 10 days ago when someone said to me, I walked into a party, a gathering, and for the entire time I was on edge because it was like people were staring at me, I felt so uncomfortable, and I walked out after an hour. Not only that he walked out after an hour, guess what? He felt sick in the stomach and thinking that he's got a flu, he's got this and everything, he started taking care of himself, but literally he purged. So in a way, when he said it was awful and everything, I turned it around and I said, that's a great thing that you got sick. That means whatever it is that did not feel good. And if it was unsettling, it all came out. You purged it. You released it. Did you feel better half an hour after that? He said, yes. So because we are all energy and not only what we think, what we feel and what we do affects our entire being, I want you to become more aware of yourself. So what do I do? Hypnosis is a technique. Uh, timeline therapy is a technique. Helping you manage stress. I have so many techniques. The bottom line is I help you identify what is unsettling within you, which is evoking it, bringing it to surface. And if you identify with it in a negative way, give it a different spin so you see in a different perspective. You see, when we shift perspective, of the things that bother you, pain you, hurt you, or that you feel you have been hurt or has caused you pain or is causing you pain, once we shift the perspective and identify it, then it becomes easier for you to heal it, shift it, 
change it, modify it, and embrace everything that has happened and occurred in order for you to evolve and be whatever it is that you want to be. So my signature method of the 3E, and everyone may have their own ways of doing it, but we delve deep inside and I utilize hypnosis, guided visualization, or any other technique that I have to help you get there in a much faster way. Ani says, guys, enjoy this amazing and motivational live. Shirag, thank you. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for being here. So identifying what is going on inside you. Is it your health factor? Is it your relationship? Or is it a finance? It's a financial thing. Most relationships, we get into an argument because of lack thereof in finance when you are not achieving, you're not the success that you want to be, you feel not good enough, I haven't achieved it, I haven't done it, I haven't, I haven't, I can't, I don't have it, right? And this is the financial burden or the negative loop that you go into. And the more you focus on the things that you can't, you don't have, you lack thereof, the more you concentrate on that. So when you concentrate on the pain factor, the negative part of it, the more you concentrate on that, the more you become focused on the negative side. And the same goes with the relationship. When something is bad or you think it is bad, oh, we don't have a good relationship. This sucks. This is not going anywhere. My question is, what is it that you want? Not the things you don't want, not the things that it's not working, but what is it that you want? If you're concentrating on the negative part, then there, you are not concentrating on the things you want. So if you want to be successful, what is it that you want to be successful in? If you want to be successful in your relationship, you want to have a better health, and you want to be a success, right? If you want to be a success, hey, I'm going to have a TV show starting. It's going to stay tuned. November, right? The 11th month, we're standing strong. We're coming up. We're showing up and speaking up and everything. If you want to be on my TV show, if you have a message that you want to convey, that you have overcome something to be where you are today and you are making a difference in someone else's life or in the masses, you let me know. But again, it's the things we want in life that move us, moves the pendulum forward in life. If you have a pain, what do you want to feel? I want to feel light. I want to be free of this. I want to go and conquer and do things. And this is in my way. So we figure out what is paining you, what is hurting you, what is cause, the cause of your, what you stumble upon, that you can't move this pendulum, that you can't move forward, forward in life. Is it emotional block? Is it a mental block? Is it financial? What part of your finances? What part of your business? What part of your vision is not all in place? So when one is low, as a matter of fact, you can do this, um, circle. Do this beautiful circle. Draw a circle. Okay. Let me do this with you. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's create something. And I want 
to show you how we do this, right? Let's do an exercise together. That's a bad circle. I don't like that one. Beautiful. Draw a circle, okay? Put a dot. Uh, that's not centered. Okay, this is centered. Put a dot in the middle of your circle. Now, this is what we're going to do. I want you to put right here. What is it that, let's talk about finance. And then here becomes. And here you can put health. Here you can put spirituality. Here you can put exercise, body. Here you can put, um, I'm doing this backwards, isn't this awesome? Here you can put education, success. Here you can put um, whatever it is that you want. But the main things in life are your health, your money, your um, you, um, health, money, education, religion, right? Love, relationships with family, co-workers and everything. And love is a romantic love. And then you can add a few others, whatever you want. So once you have all that, then you do this. How big of your relationship, what is the percentage that you believe this money is full in your circle? How much of, let's say, if that was relationships, how big of a relationship do you have? If it is, let's say, spirituality, how much time do you spend in your life during your daily life, uh, being mindful, mindset, doing yoga, doing prayer time, is it small? So when you go through the circle, just do the circle and see what is happening in your life. Is your circle in balance or is it lopsided? And when you look at that circle, especially the money factor, the health factor, the relationship factor, and the spirituality, mind, body, emotion, spirituality, professional, personal, you can see in your circle what part is lopsided. Once you have that circle, it becomes so much easier for you to see. You can even color it. You can color different ways and then look at the color that you chose for certain ones. Is it vibrant? Is it dark? Does that part make you feel upset that you haven't reached your goal or it's something that it's not a happy color? You see, colors make a difference, right? So everything in life, energy, the energy of your hands, the way you touch someone, you know, there's good touch, there's bad touch, there's hugs. Is it a full hug? Is it a just a tap on the shoulder? Thank you very much hug. So everything, we are one. Every part of us brings this who I am. So identifying yourself with the things you do, the places you go, the things you have, the people you are with, it's awesome. Or the things you have achieved. If you peel those away, do you like you? Are you happy with yourself? Or do you still feel overwhelmed, undervalued, maybe even burdened, overweight, unappreciated. If you feel any of these, 
it's time for you and I to connect. It's time. Maybe you want to get a call on a call with me. You can. All you have to do is just go to healwithin.com and just let's chat. I offer a 15-minute consultation. Not only you can listen to my audio recording, which I am gifting you, you can text RELAX to 818-221-2797, but you can also get on a call with me. I want to be the bridge to hold space for you to achieve the things you want so that when you do that circle, you will see that the lines become so much more imbalanced instead of lopsided. And be honest with you when you do that circle. Be honest with you. Put the education, what you want to achieve, career, uh, put love relationship, and then relationship with family. What is the, the, the one part relationship with children, siblings, and you can make this as many parts as you want. And then you look and see, what is it that you want? Then you can bundle them together and say, you know what? I see this part that is so sliver and I haven't paid this much attention. And I thought in my daily life, that's what I am busy with. That's what I strive to do. And yet... I see that it's not as big. So I want to pay more attention on this. Maybe you want to pay more attention on creating a savings for yourself. You know, just this month, I had to do seven different dental work that my old dentist had not caught onto and I had pains and usually I can tolerate a lot of pain you know I do root canal with no anesthesia and this doctor after doing all the things and I went to a new doctor they did the x-rays and everything oh my god I have cavities under my uh, crowns so now we're doing all that dental work I had to have my savings for this and luckily I do so there is no burden or stress on me because my health is priority what is a priority in your health in your life we tackle that first if your priority is your success why do you want to be a success my why for this was because if this goes and there is more cavity and then there is inflammation and then it goes deeper into the root into it can help it affects my health not only my bite my jaw uh, it creates a, uh, a pain my jaw factor but it can also affect my heart a disease in my heart and that will have more stress than me taking care of it now so be cognizant of the things that truly matter to you yes put yourself first I know it's hard for some especially if you're a woman, if you are a people pleaser, if family and children come first, if your family and parents come first. But you know, if you are not caring for you, just like when you get on the plane, they say the oxygen comes first on you for you to get the oxygen to receive the oxygen before you can help someone because if you pass out you can't help anyone so I hope this makes sense I want you to sit at a place that feels good play some music and do this for yourself you know when I say heal within some said, what if I don't need healing? Hmm, we all do. 
We all need inner healing, inner validation, self-validation, self-improvement, self-motivation, self-acceptance. And when you have that, I'm not saying be self-centered, that everybody has to look at you, tend to you, take care of you. And that's good. It's good to be pampered. But when you know that you matter, that your body, without your body, this beautiful shield that houses you, shields you, protects you, your heart that is vulnerable and open and strong. Are all. And I want you to come to that place to say, what is it that I need to tend to? Who am I with? What kind of an energy am I receiving? And if it's, if it's not feeling good, what can I do to make it better? Maybe it's not time. It's not time for you to delete that relationship or move away from that relationship. But what can you do within yourself that you feel safe, that you feel protected, that you feel good and confident that when you are in that environment, you're good. All that comes to who? To you. Because you matter. So, I guess today's message is, how do you care for you? Every day in every way, I want you to stand up, show up, speak up, and accept and appreciate yourself far more deeply than ever before. The work that I do, I am blessed. I help others unveil the places, the emotions that they feel stuck at. Why? Because everyone who comes in here they want to feel a sense of freedom and lightness and achieve the things that they want to. And that can be physically, mentally, emotionally, professionally, personally. And I want you to know one thing. Everything is personal. Money, you're personal. What you feel, how you feel about money. Money is a, a doorway to so much. Money brings comfort. Money is evil. The sense of money, finances, insurance, safety. It's bigger just than a dollar sign. You know, if you look at a dollar, especially American dollar, when you look over there, it says, in God we trust. So, in you, I want you to trust so that you can manage, safeguard, and uplift you. So, that's today's message. I want you to start elevating yourself, create this circle, get to know your circle. Empower your circle from your core out. Hmm? And it's about time you believe that you do matter. If this message is not for you and you think someone else needs to hear this, by all means, would you please share? Actually, you can even view this in many other uh, messages, Heal Talk Tuesdays, and other videos that I have done, my podcasts, 
that I have for years and years on my YouTube channel. Yes, subscribe, do share, help me help others. This is Lisa. It's an honor for me to be with you every week. Thank you for today, and I hope today's message was beneficial to you. Until next week, God bless you, and may the universal light surround you.